Dylan? Yeah. Finally happened. Your yeah. Pro debut. Oh, pleasure with it finally came. So oh, that's the best feeling ever. I feel like feels like it's a long time coming. That that that, that fight. Well, that's been a long time coming. Yeah. I mean, you've been in the gym since you had that last fight in the championship. Yeah. You, you win it. You win it. Viewed me just like two yeah. weeks after it, and then I said then I was uh, well, kicking off. Really since months. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So I've got the ring rust off there as well. Could feel it in the first round, and then I uh, started to pick up the pace. I thought I knocked it off. Do you know at this show? I was just looking at the undercard there when I finally found out who's fighting who. Yeah. And I think we've probably got some of the best. If we were to have gone here. We probably have some of the best junior men in the country. Yeah, yeah, they so, are. You know, I mean, because you're making your debut here, and yeah. most of the kids of, uh, are sort of like excluding uh, Jake and um, they, Charlie, and, uh, yeah. are all probably under five fights, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, but a lot, uh, most journey men I looked over, it's like a lot of people that come to watch me then. Like, when I tell them the guy's record, they think, oh, what's a, even the point of coming? Mm -hmm. But they, they're hard fights, a lot of them are hard fights. They, look, they looked over. It's, it's only that they've not probably not had an eight-week camp to train for it. They might have only had a week or a two-week camp, so they are looked over. They can give you a tricky test, but, but uh, I, th I thought I'd done pretty good in there. Well, I, I overcome that test anyway. Yeah, definitely, mate. Because like you say, you know, there's a lot of pressure on you. It seemed like you sold, sold a lot of tickets. Yeah, yeah, I, I sold quite a few, and uh, I, hopefully uh, they'll keep coming to watch me. And your guy who does your voiceovers, he was here before, Andy Crawler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I can't tell the difference. But it's, <laughs> I, I was listening to your uh, podcast on, uh, you know, Sean Bastol's um, yeah. Sleep Boxing Repeat. Yeah. And uh, you and Jake, uh, you and Jake Bulger, you just sound like one of them. Sound like Moston, the new Moston accent, isn't it? They're, they're all similar. <laughs> but yeah, I've, look, I've looked up to one all, all, all my life, so. Um, I'm buzzing that he's come to watch me and he's like, he's, he obviously he trained me at whilst I was at the Fox as well as... Uh, oh, did he? Yeah, he come in every training session after this training uh, yeah. and helped Jimmy out with all the lads. So uh, I'm buzzing that he's come to... Him and Jimmy have put, both came to watch me first fight. Is Jimmy here as well? Yeah, right? Jimmy's here as well because, like I said, they've got uh, me, Jake and... Uh, yeah, four Dale. of you. Yeah, and, and Rash, Rash, and Rash was on the first fight. Because yeah. uh, he, he's making his debut for the second time. Yeah, <laughs> that ended up in exhibition, didn't it? Yeah, at the end of last season. Yeah. So did it go as you expected, mate, or was it harder? Was it worse? Was it what? To be honest, it's a fight at, at the end of the day, and it's like you, you can never you can never know what to happen in a fight. But I, I did um, it, it did go it did go as a plan. I wish I could have done a lot better. Like uh, what with Steve, what he was giving me in the corner. I feel like sometimes I did fall in when I was throwing the one twos and not stepping back and using my two phases. What weight was this made at, mate? It was a uh, nine stone ten. It was at, but. Uh, I am gonna I am gonna be a super featherweight, it's only that I was supposed to be fighting at nine stone eight, then uh, my opponent got stopped last week so then this was made at nine ten. Right. On, on the day well, weigh in. Looking great shape, like you say, yeah, yeah, and I, I made the weight easy. I, I, I ate all through the day today on the, on the day weigh in, so I made the made the weight easily. Again, I was listening to uh, your, your podcast, yeah. and the three of you were talking a lot about food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. <laughs> oh, was that cakes and treat you? Yeah, was it your birthday or something? Yeah, it was my birthday three days ago, so I've got all <laughs> cakes and everything. I went, I went and picked up, went to. Uh, better uh, today and picked up some cakes for after we fight. <laughs> so, so I can't wait. So definitely something worth celebrating. And, yeah, and definitely. Is there any idea when you might be out next? I'm hoping sometime in December. I know there's a show on December the 9th and then these Jolly Boys as well. Mm -hmm. I think that's happening. And they're the only two shows what I know about, but hopefully I'll get on one of them and bring a lot more people and hopefully celebrate another victory. Well, the best thing about this is you were on first. Now yeah. you can enjoy your two stable mates, hopefully picking up their wins and making it three out of three. Yeah. I'm going to cheer them on and we've all put we've all been training together and put maximum effort in so I know them two have got two big performances coming so I, I'm not worrying about their performances I'm just going to cheer them on because I know what they're going to do alright Dylan take care mate nice one Lee. cheers, cheers.